Welcome to First Look, my name is Tom, and today we're checking out Noxious Weeds. This is billed as a cozy bullet heaven game. I'm curious to see exactly how we can blend cozy and bullet heaven together. Ah, uh, we have a character here, the farmer. 30 damage, 100 HP, luck, harvest speed. Go in here, spring, regular harvest amount. So that's going to be our difficulty, I guess, right? Uh, weather forecast, moderate chance of rainy and foggy days. See how this is. Uh, I'm, I'm very, very curious to see what is the deal with this game. Tools of the trade. So we have pitch, pitchfork. Stab one time. 70% damage. Piercing shot. Trowel. Sickle throws two sickles. We're like a we're, we're a farmer. We got farmer's tools. Um, let's go go piercing shot. Day's forecast. Clear skies. Ready. Now, I'm not expecting this to be super hard on the first stage. And this is uh early access too, so you know there's gonna be a lot more coming and going with the game. What is that? What's with the little mushroom dude? That's the dude off the cover of the game. What, what's he do? He's my friend. Oh. Help. Oh! You walk around and you... Oh, huh. so we're, 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 we're harvesting the vegetables. Okay, and they help us. Interesting. Vitamin B12 gives us some speed. Calcium, some defense. That's kind of funny, actually. Um, I'm going to go with the luck. So we get some lifesteal, but we lose max HP. Yeah, we'll take the green bell. Why not? Upgrade the trowel. Get some pruners. Quickly cut one nearby enemy. Hmm. Shears? Cut the enemy with the most HP. I'm going to take the shears. Not really going with any pressure on us here. Now it's the night cycle. Got some different stuff going on. Cactuses. Okay. Don't die. Don't die. Filling up a jug of juice at the bottom as well. Whatever that's for. That that's our level meter, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Now does this one have boundaries on the map, or is it just an endless? I, okay, it looks like it's an endless thing. Okay, that's fine. At least it's a big one, taking a little bit of damage. All right, let's see. Vitamin D. We get some dodge, luck, zinc. Well, HP regen on the zinc. We get a machete. Slow slash at nearby enemies, dealing 200% damage. What's the... We, we could level up the trowel. We know what that is. La Chancla. Homing shot, dealing 170% damage. This one time. We take... Okay, so now we're on to day two. So you have to do a day cycle and a night cycle. Oh, that's kind of nice. I feel like day cycle is easier. Maybe I'm just crazy. There's an avocado. Do I have a dash? I don't know if I do. I don't think I do. I don't need it. Uh-oh. There's a carrot. Get the carrot. Those are like our little buddies. That's really cool. Level 5. If you want to see more games like Noxious Weeds, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Little defense, we're not going defense. We're gonna go with some riboflavin. More health on the magnesium. Damage up, speed down. Yeah, I like damage. I'm a damage kind of guy. Life steal take. Seed bag. Rapid fire. There's actually a so far we've seen quite a few different uh weapons. Uh rapid fire at the enemy with least HP. Pickaxe, four shot burst, dealing four times 60% damage. That's actually not bad. Or the sickle. We've seen the sickles. Let's take the pickaxe. So far? Gotta take out that avocado. Oh, yeah. Got a tea kettle. That gonna do for me. What's that tea kettle do? I think maybe it's just a bunch of uh, experience, like a big, a big chunk. The 
day and night cycles are kind of neat. You could lean in on that quite a bit, I think. We'll see, we'll see how hard it's gonna get. Another level up. We're just kind of walking in circles right now, crushing everything. Also, I always pay, one thing I always pay attention to when I'm doing these is uh, like a first run is how long does it take me to uh, beat it. Passium, I like damage. I'm, I'm taking damage. Attack speed or just outright damage. More outright damage. Upgrade the pickaxe. I'm gonna upgrade the pickaxe. Go ready. Day three. So there's there is a timer, right? I th think I prefer this style over like the hey, here's a 30 minute run. I do in some ways like the idea of having um, games where there's uh, the fa the faster you kill the wave the faster the run is you know if you if you manage to kill them all but then that that's not good for certain types of uh, certain types of runs in games but I, I do like that the faster I've for my preference, the faster I can kill everything, the more overpowered you can get and kill everything, the better. Uh, tool range, so that would give us more range on our attacks, but we're just going down. The artichoke, on critical hit, shoot plus two racks. I mean, there's no, no harm in that, right? We're not losing anything. 3% uh, dodge, and then on dodge, 50% chance to stun nearby enemies we take. Harvest of the day, so we're giving, we're, they're giving us more options. 5% chance to stun the target on hit. One free carrot, higher chance to spawn carrots. 15% attack speed to all carrots. Give those carrots a buff. Only a daytime thing, though. Um, cut the enemy with the most HP. Fertilizer, throw one mine. We're taking that. We're taking the poop. Yeah. Oh, never mind. We got carrots now out here at night. Were they always there? And I just didn't notice? Maybe they were. Get all my homies out. Or do the kettles heal me? Hard to tell. Oh boy. All my homies are carrots. We have an army of mushrooms. Tons of them. Yeah, I think that heals. Good to know. Drop and poop. Um, more health. I don't think I need it. I think we just go damage. All day. Damage is up to 46. Uh, the pepper grinder. What's this? Power, powder, or random enemies. 20% damage, 40% lifesteal chance for this tool. Interesting. We're going to upgrade the trowel, though. Make it a little more strong. we got some rain. So what's this do? Um, stepping on puddles will slow you down. Constant water spawn on the ground. Okay, so if we stay out of the puddles, we keep our speed. Hit as many carrots as we can, because we buff their attack speed. Oh yeah, that really slows you down. That's no joke. That's that's a that's a significant decrease in speed. We gotta avoid that. Oh yeah, that's really slow. We're not taking damage though, we're fine. Day cycle much oh there's a big chunk. Day cycle seems much easier. Okay. Easy. We're the winners. More health. Ooh, ooh. Plus ten percent attack speed. More speed. Let's just take that. We're gonna take we're gonna take these rare things. 
Uh, plus 25% damage to boss enemies. Don't mind if I do. I'm going to refund that. I don't want to lose luck. Um, on hit, 10% chance to deal 100% damage over water. More pickup range? No. Critical chance is nice. Lima beans. On harvest, shoot eight beans around you, dealing 60 damage. We take. On hit, 10% chance to deal 100. I think we take another orange. Pickaxe? Oh, yeah. Pickaxe is going to be crushing. More carrots. Give me more carrots. Look at these dudes with their boots of armor, right? Eh? And nighttime's got some serious looking enemies in it. There's not a lot of visual clutter in this one, and I kind of dig that. I like I like uh I like a game with a little bit less visual clutter. I can actually kind of see what's happening for the most part. Was that the lima beans? I thought that was broccoli. I don't eat many vegetables, so you know. <laughs> I'm curious to see what the other worlds are going to be like, like winter time and stuff like that. Um, hit reroll. Let's reroll. Reroll for cool range. Okay, fine. It's a it's a high rarity. Uh, we'll take the trowel as well. Piercing shot. So it's going to give us more and, and more critical chance on it as well. We're on day five. That's a is that a legendary poop. <laughs> Did I just have a legendary poop? going on there oh man things are getting a little bit more dicey now for us get my army of vegetables but when i step on it when i step on it does it go off i think it does i thought i was just waiting for enemies to step on it but i think i can step on the on the poop and trigger it Let's go. Easy. Too easy. We'll see how the pacing goes with this, with the leveling up and stuff. Like, am I gonna get, am I gonna get to a point? I played other ones in the past. Oh, we're taking luck. Um, life steal luck we take. Defense tool range. There's no downside to that. Refund that. Um, leak 6% chance double knockback. I'm going to take this on the chance to stun. And then let's take a new weapon. Take the machete. Dangerous encounter on day five. So anyway, I was saying, I always lose tra my train of thought here. I record live, if anybody didn't know. That. Like, I, I don't uh, voice over my stuff after the fact. I, I commentate and record at the same time. So, one thing that happens in some of these games is pacing is a big thing for me. Um, I assume it is for other people, too. Like, if, you're, if the run's going to be 30 minutes, say, I need 30 minutes of leveling. That's just my take on it, you know? I need to be continuously getting more powerful throughout the whole run instead of capping out. And some some games have that where it's like you get 15 minutes in and you're capped out. And I think that kind of removes a little bit of the fun and you know, that's just my take on it. After playing a lot of games in the genre, the ones that I like are ones where it continuously lets you power up. Um, slow slash at nearby enemies. Uh, you know what? Let's level up our poop. Two mines. We aren't dead yet. And this one seems like it's going to be in the category of games that continue have enough have enough in there that it will let you continue to level. Oh, 
Oh, look at this little patch of vegetables. Take that. There we go. I'm actually... Some people might know this, but I've had lots of new subscribers over the last little while. I'm actually a bit an avid gardener myself. So, that. One thing that Tom does a lot in uh, summertime is I spend a lot of my free time in my vegetable garden. Even thought about doing some a whole separate channel with gardening stuff in it. I wouldn't expect any of you to watch that. Um, critical chance. One free Orsino. Mushroom. Higher chance to spawn. Orsini. Plus one bullet. All Orsini. We take. Sure, I'm pro probably not pronouncing that. I don't grow those. Artichokes. Critical cool hit. Shoot a plus two Brax. Take. Lima beans on harvest. Shoot plus eight beans. Like, I mean, we've got a couple of those, right? Uh, we take the jackfruit. More damage to bosses. And we're going to level up the, the poop again. So now we have three mines. So we got our, our rain again. Got to try and avoid the rainy puddles. Oh yeah, that, look at that. On harvest, we're, we're firing stuff. That's nice. I like that. It is starting to get a little bit more dicey here, though. We're, we're uh, taking some damage, not healing up. Oh, that, those are enemies. Oh, crap. I, did, I, I thought they were friends. I thought those were friendly vegetables. You have a bit of an army of vegetables. I took a big hit there, thinking that I could stand still like a dummy. We played a couple of really cool ones. Different ones. I'm, I'm really excited about, like, the different the variations in the genre that are coming along. I just played a game where it was cats. Like, a cat? Bullet having game. Now we're playing a farming one? Um, sure. We'll take that, just because it's more rare. Cheers. Cut the enemy with the most HP. We're on day seven. Give me that carrot. Yeah. It'll have left that health. I'm just running around picking everything up. I don't need to do that. Those hit hard. Yeah. Keep on harvesting. I have a whole army of vegetables now. Yeah, you can't really stand still too much. Stand still, you, you they, they make you pay. Stomping in the, in the fertilizer, making everything explode. Yeah. It's going kind of how I expected. I expected to beat it on my first try, like the first world. Um, HP regen tool range, sure, we'll take. Critical chance, I always take that, and damage. Uh, refund. On critical hit, shoot two, yeah. Speed, no, attack speed, luck, ooh. I'm gonna refund that. Upgrade the shears. We're almost through this. We're on night seven now. Oh, what are these? Are they dealing with moths now? Yeah, we're dealing with some serious, serious enemies now. Nighttime doesn't doesn't mess around. Okay. How many shrooms we've got? Kind of have a we have kind of have a decent amount of power ups for those uh, for our little friends, and it's cool because I was I didn't think that was a thing in this game. I like the having little buddies wandering around with us. And those mushrooms are shooting a lot because we've added 
things onto that, right? They shoot more. More bullets. Uh, we'll take the... Day 8. Foggy. I didn't... Oh, I didn't read if anything happens with fog. Now we have those to deal with. Oh, do we have nighttime enemies in the daytime? Because it's foggy? Oh, crap. I almost died. Okay. Ooh, we've, we've, we've got a... We have a problem. Yep. Run. You're barely hanging on. A couple hits away from being dead. Oh, crap. I don't know if we survive the next, uh, the next round. The next night time. This is, this is how it's gonna be. This is the hardest it's been. So fog, fog really got me. Um, I'm finally gonna take life steal. <laughs> 50% damage on enemies above. Mm, you know what? Sure, we'll take the butternut squash. HP regen and tool range. Sure. And more lima bean. We'll upgrade that. All right, now what? Get my homies. Yeah, this already feels better because we don't have those moths flying around after us. That was the hardest, by far the hardest. We're getting back up to full health here. Is that a bomb? What are those? What kind of vegetable is that? Ooh, yeah. We got... This is night eight, so we got two more days, and then, uh... See if we can make it to the final boss fight, anyway. Good. We've almost got all of our weapons maxed out. Calcium, critical chance. Uh, we're gonna give them a machete. Okay, we got clear skies. Should be doable. Harvesting as much as I can, because I, I just don't trust that I'm gonna be able to survive. One of those dudes, yes. 30 seconds. Two carrots. Oh yeah. Double double shot. Not messing around. This is this is this is good. All that poop. Triple triple poop bombs. Ooh, ooh, I got hit hard. I guess I, I have nerfed my defense a bit here, right? So I guess that's why. All right, we're coming at full health going into night nine. More lifesteal for sure. I'm not nerfing my defense. No way. Stun, yeah, we'll take the stun. Damage, HP, regen, double chance for knockback? Yeah, sure. And we're gonna take this. Night nine. I wonder on 10, do we just face a boss? Probably. But is it going to be a nighttime boss or daytime boss? Or both? And realistically, this hasn't been a super long run. Look at the time, we're like... We're not even 30 minutes into, into a video, and usually a 20-minute uh, game takes... Roughly about 30 minute video, maybe a little bit under, depending on how quick you select your uh, power ups. I'm just glad I'm not dealing with those moths anymore. They got me on the run. Go back up this way. Ooh, there was a, that was actually like a little magnet. I hadn't seen one of those.
right, here we go. Um, defense, sure, we're heading into the end here. Yeah, like, we're not swapping. Yeah. So that heals you? Interesting. Okay, we're on day 10. No boss in sight yet. I'm not careful, we're gonna we're gonna die. Oh crap, I stepped in the water. Ooh. That hurt. Oh that hurt. Oh no. Game over. Too many of them. Water. Water, it's no it's no good. It's no it's no use. We have so much lifesteal, though. Maybe there's a chance. Holy crap. Barely. Wow. That got, that got really tight at the end. Uh, crit chance to throw a tomato? Or no, on chance. Okay, we'll just take it. Um, defense... Dual range. I'm gonna roll that. Look how many things we have? More damage? More defense? Yeah, sure. We're gonna skip boss fight. Here we go. Yeah, it's a, a nighttime boss fight. What do we got. Oh, we got big boys. With guns. So we got an avocado. I think we can just kind of like slow play this for the most part, though. They're not, they're not looking too tough, right? I don't think so. Except I'm getting beat up by the the actual other enemy. Try and collect a few friends. There goes a tomato. This game's got potential. I I kind of dig it. Try not to show off ones that I'm not, like, you know, fond of. I don't want to oversell things, because I don't get paid to play these games, right? So I have no reason to lie to you guys. Oh, this is going to help. I guess. We're kind of end game though. These guys are nowhere near dead. So there's going to be, some, I assume, some meta progress that's going to give us more damage and things like that to make this a little bit easier. The bosses... Probably could be harder. They're the least hard part of this, right? I'm just kind of running away from them. But maybe they will get harder? Maybe once one's dead, the other one gets a buff or something? I don't know. Oh, geez, you just have to survive the time, too. So that's kind of like... Um, Rotato, you just have to survive. Probably a bonus in it if you kill them. Sprouts Nemesis, defeat 1,000 sprouts, reward uh, produce, Brussels sprouts. 8% chance to launch a sprout dealing 300% damage. Nice. Stay hydrated. Cool, watering can. Now slow, slow nearby enemies. Bloom season. So now we get the summer season. Majority of shrubs, weather forecast, chance of thunderstorms and wildfires. Wow, that's cool. This is just the beginning. Uh, we get radish, one free radish. Higher chance to spawn radishes. 15% movement speed to all radishes. Very cool. I wasn't even paying attention to the timer at the bottom. We just had to survive. Um, so yeah, it makes sense that they weren't like getting crazy strong. So we'll quit, we'll go to the front page here. What about progress? What's in here? I go to this tree. So this is stuff that you've unlocked. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff in here. It tells you how to get it all. What about down here? Work in progress, right? Okay, makes sense. Harvest 30 trees. Okay, so that's going to be unlocking new characters. And that's probably the meta progress down here, I assume, like the, the actual like meta progress in the game. All right, let me know what you think of Noxious Weeds, guys. I thought it was kind of neat for this uh, for this genre. I always love to see different types of games. 
Catch you on the next one. Have a fantastic day.